Um, so the community, which happens to be, I don't know, 200,000 people or something, right? The community is still hovering around Pulse Chain. Even though, yeah, there's sellers and there's some worry what's going on with Richard and his lawsuits and stuff. The community itself, like the majority of the people are still hovering around Pulse Chain, anxious to know how this all plays out. Um, still excited when new things launch. There's still participation and in, in, in new protocols and even memes and shit coins and stuff. Stuff that's launching is still being participated with. So, you know, that that's that's positive. This could all turn around. Um, we don't know how it's gonna play out. Okay, in my opinion, it appears Richard is um, trying to be avoid being served, in my opinion. I don't know that he's doing that. It appears that way just from his uh, profile. It says uh, he doesn't read magazines or communications of any kind. He has comments turned off. He's not. Uh, it, it appears nobody knows where he is. So it would appear he's just trying to avoid being served now <clears throat> is that the best technique um probably not uh he thinks it is but maybe it's not because i i don't believe these sort of things just disappear because you can't be served i think they'll just keep trying to serve you they'll keep extending they'll keep uh, uh they'll just push the uh calendar keep pushing the calendar out and you might piss them off enough where um, they start getting on the phone with the, um, the other investigators who already appear to be in the, the mix. You know, there's already been people who are contacted, you know, by um, the FBI with the, with the other uh, subpoenas that went out to, to hexagons, right? So it, it, is actions like this just going to light a fire in those guys? But to take it a step further, I have no idea. Right. But eventually we'll see how this all plays out. I don't know how that's going to be. It definitely seems like he wants more. You know, I, I joked, you know, I'll be served when I'm ready. <laughs> I could, I could hear that like maybe being part of the strategy or he wants to, you know, sort of control the timeline. Uh, again, assuming, you know, he's, he's known about this for a while and, and sort of it's a, maybe hopefully making some chess moves. Uh, I, I would, I would, uh, I would think so, but yeah, on vacation, what, how, how do you feel, you know, when this happened, especially, uh, as, as a founder building projects and stuff, is it, is it something that, is it more of just like, oh, you know, we got to, we got to wait and see, uh, or I guess, what was your reaction and how do you, what have you seen since then that has, this gave you a uh, hope or, or otherwise? Well, I think the important thing, and we've already kind of touched on it before is that, uh, you know, remember that pulse chain is already fully decentralized, right? Um, you know, so, any validators, uh, you know, and infrastructure that may have been run directly by, you know, uh, Richard Hart, you know, he already announced that, that he had shut those down long, long time ago. So we, the community, are now the ones running this blockchain. So regardless of what may or may not happen to one person um, who's very, you know, publicly uh, associated with that chain uh, doesn't necessarily change the technology. The technology does what it's supposed to do as long as we, the community, continue to run the validators and, and maintain at least, you know, some number of them uh, and, and the endpoints that, you know, that connect, then, you know, we will always have the ability to access Pulse Chain and interact with it. So, you know, uh, I look at it as, you know, the, the whole uh, uh, message that, you know, we've heard many times from Richard was around an uncensorable, you know, blockchain where we all could participate and, and be able to exercise our financial freedoms there. Right. Um, so I, I, you know, yes, it's frustrating to see, you know, news like this and, and the reactions from the markets. Is it a surprise? Uh, not necessarily. The markets are always going to, you know, uh, go into upheaval, you know, with things like this. You see that in traditional markets, you see that in crypto all the time. Um, and, you know, we're, we're still nowhere near, you know, the next bull run. We're, we're nowhere near the next cycle. So we still have time before all of that really starts uh, uh, gaining momentum. So, you know, uh, in 
without lots of you know positive news, we're we're just you know the market's going to react the way the market reacts. I think you know we keep building, we keep uh, preparing you know everything that we have to launch on Pulse Chain uh, to get it out there because we still feel that you know. Uh, there's no reason for the chain not to succeed. I mean, again, it'll continue running. There are bridges accessing it that will continue to operate. The community is still involved and are, uh, continues to launch more and more and more utility on chain. So, you know, at some point we realize we hit a critical mass where things start to actually make a difference, right? And the market will then start to notice, oh, okay, this isn't just, you know, hex. This is more than just hex on another chain. This is an entire ecosystem of DeFi with lending and stable coins and DEXs and you know all manner of things that are coming to the market soon, right? Yeah, the decentralization is key and, and I, I like the moves being made there. Uh, definitely with PulseX, I'm looking forward to you know more of the DAO stuff that has been talked about before. Um, actually, I was streaming yesterday and somebody mentioned the, the V2, the V1 farms deal, the, the, some of the updates around PulseX that looked like, like I wonder if they'll be on V2, it'll be like the community run stuff and the and V1 will be like the curated uh, side of it. Uh, I'm curious to see some updates from there coming up as well. But um, yeah, the decentralization has been a huge factor and just the Genesis validators and exiting, as you mentioned, uh, and the community runs this. Like uh, I, you know, I love our age, but at the same time, like I, I feel like he is, you know, you need founders to build things, you know, and then the com the communities can sort of take over and and make them into something more uh, later on. Like once he built Hex, he didn't need to do anything else, right? Like community did all the work after Hex. Why can't it be the same with Pulse Chain, uh, whether whether he's tw tweeting or not? So that's the way I look at it. And, um, and we will. I mean, if you look at it, uh, you know, if if Pulse X were to go down for some reason, right? I, you know. It won't. But I mean, you know, if it were to, for some reason, well, there's already, uh, you know, uh, multiple DEXs running on Pulse Chain already. And there's also the, you know, uh, legacy items that were forked over from Ethereum that are still running, right? Portal X connects not only with Pulse X, but also uh, Uniswap and SushiSwap running, uh, you know, they were forked over from Ethereum. Right. So those DEXs are still there. They can't be shut down. Right. The contracts are live and 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 they'll always be available. They still have a front end for you to interact with if you wanted to. You know, But anybody can go and fork that front end and go and run it themselves. Right. And we know that at least one developer has already done that. Alex from Hedron um, and Icosa, you know, he had a working version of a, of a Uniswap front end at one point on an earlier test net. Right. So these things can all be done. It's just a matter of, like you said, the builders keep building, bring new things to the chain, right? And we can provide all the services that we need to make this blockchain succeed, right? Or at least be something that we all want to participate in. And hopefully others will want to participate in as well once they see the party going up, right? Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, there, there's a ton of different um, and uh, people worried about, you know, uh, PulseX or otherwise anything else that requires resources to run or front ends. You still got the smart code contract. You still got people building on that. You still got plenty of smart people that can, you know, if everything goes down, there's always, there's all these backups. There's all these other products. There's all these smart people who can like, Hey, here's, here's how to do it. We're going to go build this. We're going to take this project up. So whether it exists uh, right now or not, 